Airplanes traditionally fly using mechanical cables or metallic ropes. Newer models now use fly-by-wire systems that are electronically operated. In this explanatory video, we will describe to you how a fly-by system works on an airplane particularly an Airbus 320 or its variants. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. By default, the Airbus 320 plane has its wings and tails flat with none of the elements being used. One of the primary flight controls of an airplane is the elevator, which makes the airplane go up or go down. These are horizontal elements that adjust the flight level of the airplane. The pilot makes the airplane go up by pulling the side stick backward towards him. And if he wants to lower the flight level, go down in altitude, he will push the side stick forward away from him. By default, the elevator is flat, at par with the horizontal stabilizer. These are two horizontal metals that move in the same direction, either upward or downward. The next primary flight control we will discuss now is the rudder. Just like in a boat, this vertical element will make the airplane move left or right. This vertical stabilizer element is moved by pushing one of the pedals. The rudder is responsible for changing the heading of the airplane. I mean its direction. North, south, east, or west. By default, the rudder has the same position with the vertical stabilizer. The last of the three primary flight controls we will discuss is the aileron. These are wingtip elements that make the airplane tilt clockwise or counterclockwise. The pilot moves these elements, these wingtip elements, by moving the side stick sideways either to the left or to the right. To move the side stick to the right means you're making a clockwise tilt. And to move it to the left will make the airplane tilt counterclockwise. Aside from the traditional primary flight controls, the Airbus 320 plane can also combine functions with secondary flight controls, such as flaps or spoilers. Ailerons that act as spoilers, spoilers are called spoilerons. These elements will move by adjusting the speed brake lever position 
Traditionally, the speed brakes or those inward wing elements will move upward depending on, on the degree that you raise it. The more backward you push the speed brake lever, the higher the ailerons would go up. Like spoilers. As you can see, when the speed brakes are fully deployed, the ailerons race to their highest position. They act as spoilers in spoiler run mode. Another function for ailerons with their multi-purpose functions is that they can act as flaps too. They would be called flapperons or droop ailerons technically. This time, ailerons will move downward like flaps. The pilot will be able to do this by adjusting the flap lever, not the speed brakes anymore. As he moves the flap lever towards him backward, the ailerons will furthermore move downward. Like the speed brake lever, the flaps also have five different settings. From retracted to the extended most position. Another special function of the Airbus 320 is that spoilers or speed brakes can act as ailerons. Whichever aileron is being raised up, the spoilers on that side will also move upward. This is another spoiler run effect. When the pilot moves the side stick sideways, it is not only the ailerons that will be manipulated, but also the outward spoilers. The closer to the wingtip the spoiler is, the higher it would raise up. The purpose of this spoiler run effect is to assist the airplane in making turns so as not to depend highly on the rudder which is a highly sensitive vertical stabilizer element. There has been an incident with an Airbus plane, an A300, that crashed into New York City shortly after taking off because the first officer aggressively moved the rudder by pushing the pedals to their extremes in just a few seconds repeatedly. The rudder was not able to withstand the enormous stress. That's why this vertical element broke away from the airplane and as a result, the pilots were in trouble of how to control the airplane. That was even mistaken for a terrorist attack because it was just two months since the September 11, 2001 bombing. As you can see here, the spoilers get along with the ailerons. Because the wingtip elements called ailerons are just little wings that's what they're literally meant in french so the spoilers have to act as ailerons too 
so that the airplane will turn a little bit more even without the use of a rudder the rudder is only reserved for making sharp turns at lower flying speeds in lower altitudes or flight levels this is how innovative the airbus 320 plane is it uses fly-by-wire for its flight controls so that the ailerons can also act as flaps or spoilers and the spoilers or speed brakes can also act as ailerons but its flaps are still traditional they only serve for the purpose of moving downward and nothing else flaps allow you to fly at lower speeds without stalling the airplane here is an impressive view of what the pilot would see with fly by wire this is actually a zipline flight where you feel like the pilot who is flying an airplane towards a runway you're in landing mode basically as you can see the point of view is changing its center point this is meant to simulate an airplane's change of direction we're now landing on a runway we've just touched down isn't that innovative how fly-by-wire controls work on a modern airplane like an Airbus 320